Good morning. Welcome to Bible practice. Today's inspiration for us is this. You can go to the Bible and go to Proverbs 16, verse 9, Colossians 2, verses 2 through 3, and Isaiah 33, verse 6. Those words inspired these words. And, um, and here's what the words say that they inspired. Approach each new day with the desire to find me. Praise God. That's what we can do. The Lord's here. You can, and he'll be found. He'll let himself be found. But you've got to search for him. That's what people don't do. And the majority of the people don't do it. Well, they speak about him. They know about him. Intellectually, they talk about him. They don't search for him. If they did, you'd see them searching for it. Before you get out of bed, I have already been working to prepare the path that we'll get to through this day. There are hidden treasures strategically placed along the way. Some of the treasures are trials. That's the hard part. Trials. Because we need to thank you for the trials because they're blessings. They are designed to shake you free from earth's shackles. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Others are blessings that reveal my presence. Sunshine, flowers, birds, friendships, answer prayer. I have not abandoned the sin-wrapped world. It hasn't. You created it. Adam and Eve fell from it. But he still is here. So trying to help us get back to him. I am still richly present in it. Search for deep treasure as you go through this day. You will find me all along the way. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And again, Proverbs 16, verse 9, Colossians 2, verses 2 to 3, and Isaiah 33, verse 6. Read those passages and see what the Lord inspires in you. Remember, we're all we're all connected through Christ, but we're all separate. He works with each one of us differently. And uh, that's another thing for all of us to hard for us to understand. Um, It's, in other words, my path is going to be different than your path. My trials and blessings are going to be different than your trials and blessings. Um, sometimes if a man and wife are together and, you know, working together with the Lord, then their blessings, they'll both understand the blessings. They'll use both of them to help each other. Um, and he uses other people in our lives. Um, our bosses, our friends, our pets, our circumstances. All for our good. People see it, many, many, many people, anyway, see it that, that he uses that to punish us. Incorrect, totally. I wish they didn't think that way, but fortunately, all I can say is they're wrong. Huh? And I'm not judging them, I'm just saying they're incorrect. God does not punish. He only wants to help us. Okay? He loves us. So, all right. Be on your way with the Lord. Talk to Him. Learn from him, and um, you'll get through that narrow gateway into heaven. Love you, praise, peace, love.